All right, hello everybody, uh, Ryan here once again. So working on a uh, Cummins ISX-15, a uh, older unit. Customer came in a few weeks ago, we did quite a bit of work, uh, transmission, clutch, a couple other things. So we put a new DPF in it, he came in, said he wanted DPF clean. We took that DPF out and, and upon inspection it was cracked, so we ended up putting a, a new unit in it. Replaced a couple sensors, and uh, we had a couple issues when we were trying to regen the truck, it kept dying, um, it'd go about 10 minutes or so during the regen and it would die and it come up fuel oil pressure so the customer was kind of in a rush so he wanted to take the truck took it out for a week still had some issues with it ended up taking it to a uh, Kenworth dealer up here in the area took it into them and they said all oh, the DOC's face plug they called me and said hey we just you know you clean this thing because we clean the DOC's uh, when we put a uh, new DPF in it and you know and said this thing's plugged up and I thought you guys clean it well we did clean it Kenworth was wanting to take it and clean it again and do this and that. And I told him, I was like, look, this, uh, there's a reason why a DOC would face plug. So there's, there's two components here. Um, either the turbo actuator or you have a doser here that, that basically shoots fuel into that DOC to start a reaction, superheats everything and, and burns out the DPF and all that good stuff and creates heat uh, through your SCR to reduce NOx efficiency with you know, deaf. So I'm going to show you the uh, the DOC here and what it looks like to be face plugged, and then I'm going to show you what we found on this injector here. Okay, so here's the DOC, and on this one it's a uh, straight through unit. Some of these are a 90, so they're a lot harder to see on the face side, but this one you actually can. Uh, so if you can look down in there, you see those little holes, and a lot of them are like sooted up. So it's, you kind of see it there. Uh, the little bitty holes inside the big holes there so you can see a lot of them are covered with soot and that's uh, because that injector is throwing too much fuel and it's basically caking up with soot and, and plugging up this DOC and over here we have the DPF and like I said this is a new unit just to cover all things considered um, we're gonna go ahead and clean this out in our machine as well while we got it out so like I said in the beginning, um, if you're having a DOC issue, most likely um, you've got an air problem, airflow problem, which could be a turbo actuator here, or a fuel problem with this little injector. So I popped this off, and the first thing I noticed when I took these bolts out, they're wet with fuel, and they came out really easy, which isn't typical. I mean, about half time they about break off, but these were, were soaking wet with fuel. You can still see they're kind of shiny with residue. Once I took, got this popped up. Now, be, these are coolant lines. If you're gonna take this off, I usually have the new one ready, and I kind of do it real quick, so that way I don't have to drain all the coolant, but you're still gonna lose like a gallon. Now, if you notice on the bottom, you can see the nozzle of that injector and it's pretty caked up. Now you see it's real shiny in there. There's actually supposed to be like a round disc that's about 3 sixteenths of an inch thick and that's missing. Um, so all this was in here was wet with fuel um, so I don't know where it went. Um, I actually have a... It actually fell on the floor here. I've got an old one that I had laying on the shelf that I never turned in for a core. You can see this one there's a disc in here and usually you got if you're going to replace these, you got to like chip this out with a screwdriver or something. Pretty unlikely that this, uh, that that would have just fell out like that and be clean. So I'm, I'm thinking it's nobody ever installed that ring. And now that something's happened in here, that nozzle's burnt out and it's just dumping fuel because everything, you can see the, the shininess where it's, uh, where it's just wet with fuel. So we're going to go ahead and replace that injector and we're going to burn out the DOC and the DPF, uh, put it all back together and um, I think that's probably going to solve the problem here. When we was doing a regen we had a fuel pressure drop so like I said this does use fuel. So obviously dumping a lot more fuel even in the exhaust pipe going down to the DOC so does this, it's just caked up on the walls of the exhaust pipe. So obviously it's, it's way way over fueling and that's what would cause that. So if anybody's telling you your DOC needs baked out or whatever you need to find the upstream problem because there's a reason that that face is plugging up and like I said it's either fuel or an air problem. So uh, that's pretty much all I got for today guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I like the channel. If you're new please subscribe and uh, leave a comment and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.